Here's my DIY post puller. Alright, so after several years of struggling, pulling posts out of the ground, digging them out of the ground, using bottle jacks, levers, blocks of wood, and repeatedly, you know, inching my way up, I came up with this solution. I've uh, recently shortened it to be able to fit into smaller spaces like this particular area next to the house and the fence. The uh, components that I'm using on the ends of those poles, I believe they're like a trailer hitch D-ring and the best place to come and buy those, at least in the US, is uh, Harbor Freight. Seems like they were like $10 a piece. Well worth it. And I believe I have like another uh, ring in the middle that I use to hook the uh, chain hoist onto. Any type of chain hoist would work. So after you pull the post out of the ground, you probably don't want to squat down and get under the tripod as I did here. The, uh, the bottom of the post hadn't cleared the upper lip of the hole and therefore I you know, wasn't able to swing it out. It's also not good to pull up and release the tension on the hull system, especially being alone without someone spotting me. So don't do that. Um, I was able to... Uh, yeah, what I was trying to do is pop it onto the dolly one time so I wouldn't have to lay it to the ground, saving me a step of picking it up, but that was foolish. It's better to just go ahead and lay it on the ground, dismantle your tripod or move the tripod. Obviously, when you buy tools, buy the best you can afford, generally. Harbor Freight is not known to be the best, but uh, a lot of their items that are not uh, involving moving parts seem to be quite good. A lot of uh, good reviews with all the trailer hitch business, and I haven't had any, any issues with that type of stuff so far. It's been left out in the rain, and the uh, zinc coating is holding up on those D-rings quite impressively as well.